and welcome to a new lesson. So in this one we are going to see how we can use the bank object to trigger the calculation of the plus operator also when we change the number that goes in the call delet of the plus operator. So it's actually pretty simple. We are going to do this. Let's move this comment a bit lower. We are simply going to connect this bank object or button object to the outlet of this integer number box. So the integer number box that goes inside the called inlet of the plus operator is connected now both to the called inlet of the plus operator and to the bank object. So let's give it a try. If I now ch try to change the first number in the hot inlet and set it, for example, to 10, uh, the plus operator gives us a 10 because 10 plus 0, 0 is the default number that is inside the plus operator, gives us 10. Now, if I change this number to 4, you can see that the operation has been updated automatically. And now we got 14, which is 10 plus 4. If I input here a bunch of numbers by dragging with my mouse, you can see that the plus operator is updating its uh, operation uh, gradually as I change those numbers. So this is pretty cool because now we can change uh, whatever one of those two numbers and they will work in the same way. Let's actually do the same for the minus operator. So let's simply bring it down, connect this here and uh, let's try. So 3 and 10. So 10 minus 3 is actually 7. Let's say now I write, for example, 90. 10 minus 90 is 80. So let's assign why is this working. Well, basically what is happening here, every time we modify the number that goes in the cold inlet of the plus operator or the minus operator, the number is going in the cable that goes in the cold inlet and then it's also going in the bank object. But everything that comes inside the bank object, so if for example we input a number into the bank object, it's simply going to be transformed into a bank message. So for example, if we do this here, if we send a number to the bank button, it's simply going to transform it into a bank symbol. So this number goes inside the bank object that transforms it into the bank symbol, uh, which triggers the operation of the plus operator. So it's summing 9 to the number that was previously inside. For example, in this case, 8 plus 6 is 14. So the number goes first in the right inlet of the plus operator, then goes to the bank, the bank uh, goes into the hot inlet of the plus operator, then triggering the operation. So this is actually pretty cool, because now we transform the inputs of the plus and the minus operators in hot inlets. So all their inlets are basically hot. But uh, I want to show you now something that uh, will uh, blow your mind. So if I put this bank object on the right of this integer number box, let's see what it happens. If I say 10, for example, here, and I say 3, you can see that actually the operation is not changed. It should be actually 13, but it's still 77. If I input here, for example, a 6, now is 9, because 6 plus 3 is 9. If I input here a 5, it doesn't change again. And if I input here, for example, a 2, 2 plus 5, it worked, and if I change now again this number, you can see that it doesn't change. And this is only because I changed the graphical place of the bank object in my patch. If I put it back on the left of this integer number box, it's actually working again, as it should. If I put it on the right of this integer number box, um, it doesn't work anymore. So, why is this happening? Well, we are going to see that in the next lesson. So I leave you with this cliffhanger and well done so far and see you in the next lesson.